why are you still using Active Directory? And I don't just mean on-prem, I mean anywhere. If Azure Active Directory is the evolution of AD, then why do we still have domain controllers? That's a question a recent customer asked me, and it's a good question to think about. After all, it's 2023, so why haven't you gone all cloud yet? One of the reasons is probably that you have all these group policies that you've built up over the years, and you don't have another way to manage all of your systems without Active Directory. Well, if you haven't used it before, say hello to Microsoft Intune, also known as Endpoint Manager. This is a cloud-based configuration management platform for all of your mobile, physical, and virtual devices, no matter where they are. And thanks to a recent update, Intune now supports importing Active Directory group policy files, helping you get one step closer to going all cloud. Now, if you're using Azure Virtual Desktop or Citrix or Horizon, you know how important FS Logix is to manage all of your user profiles. And not being able to manage FS Logix from the cloud has been a gap in this cloud BDI solution, preventing you from going all cloud. So I'm gonna help you to change that for FS Logix and any other new policies you want. And as a bonus, I'll show you how to get your current GPOs in here so that you can go all cloud today. Here in the Intune console, you wanna click over on devices on the left and then scroll down to configuration policies. At the top, there is a new import ADMX button and that's all of your group policy files. Then click the import. Now click on the blue folder over here and select your ADMX file. Next, we need the ADML, which is the language files. Now, as of right now, this feature is in preview, so only English is supported, but other languages are definitely coming soon. Once you've selected that, click Next. Then click Create. So now that you've imported your ADMX files, you can build your device management profiles. So click Create Profile at the top. Now you need to select your version of Windows, probably Windows 10 and then select Templates. Then you want to scroll down for the Imported Administrative Template, give it a name that follows your naming convention, add a description if you like, and click Next. And under Computer Configuration, there's our particular folder for FS Logix. Just go in there and you can see all of the policies that you're very familiar with. Configure them however you need to, and then you're done. Of course, for all of this to work, you're going to need your machines to be hybrid joined or Azure Active Directory joined. But once you do, you can go back to the configuration profiles and click on the one you just created, and you'll see this kind of report that shows the status of all of your devices. And of course, we can repeat this process for something else like Chrome. Just go through the same import process and then go create another configuration profile, and there are all of the Chrome policies. And this will work for any other ADMX files you can throw at it. So that's good for anything new, but what if you already have policies configured as GPOs? And if you want more videos and tips like this one, please click on that like button. It really does help out the channel a lot and I'd appreciate it. Scroll down a little bit over here and you can look at group policy analytics, which is also in preview. This new feature will analyze your existing group policies and help you import them into the cloud so that everything can be managed from one place. So the first thing you're going to need is an existing policy. So over here in your group policy management console, let's pick your first victim, I mean uh, policy. So here's one of my policies, and of course I've got a lot of stuff in there. And yours probably looks like this too. So right click on that policy and then select save report. Pick a location and before you click save, you'll wanna change the type here to XML, then click save. Now it's important with these large policies to check their file size because there is a four megabyte import limit today, but thankfully this one is just right. So back in Intune in Group Policy Analytics at the top, click Import, then click the blue folder over here, select your exported policy and click Open. Once the policy import is complete, it might take a few minutes for everything to get analyzed, and then you'll see the name of the policy the OU that it was targeted as, and the MDM support, which is the percentage of settings in that GPO that are supported in Intune. And notice that out of my policies, not all of them are 100%. So you can just click on that number, and then I like to sort it by the MDM supported column to see the policies that won't work at the top. So you'll have to consider how else you could manage those particular settings, or this is also a good time to think, do I really need those? 
We do have a lot of legacy policies in our environments, and things do change all the time. Not to mention, the cloud is different, so you might not need these particular settings anymore. So give that some thought, and once you're done pondering the nature of the universe, you can click the X over here and go back. Check the box for the policies you want to import, and at the top, click Migrate. This will combine all the settings from those policies into a single list, and then you can pick and choose which ones you want to import, or click the Select All button. But notice those unsupported policies will still not be able to be imported. Oh, and uh, don't forget to go to the other pages and select all of those as well. Then click Next. And these are all of the settings that you'll be migrating, so click Next again. And now you'll create a profile, which needs a name. And you can also add a description, and then click Next. The default scope is already selected, but you can add other scopes if you have them. Then click Next again. Here you can add your assignments for your users or your devices, depending on how the policy should be applied. And then click Next one more time. Review everything, and when you're ready, click Deploy. Now this is a huge win for you to go 100% cloud without having to give stuff up. And I've got your next video on going all cloud right over here. Happy learning.